This is a general demonstration video on the features and donning of the Flight COV airline respirator. It is intended for persons with appropriate knowledge and technical skills. It is not a replacement for the user instruction manual which contains important additional information. For additional safety and warranty information, please visit our website. Flight COV is a positive pressure demand airline escape respirator suitable for use in confined spaces and IDLH atmospheres. A complete respirator consists of a full face mask, adjustable flame retardant harness, escape cylinder, and a robust and highly reliable pneumatic system which attaches to a breathing air supply hose. 3M Scott offers two mask styles. ProMask PP in small or medium large sizes or Vision 3 in small, medium or medium large to help achieve optimal face fit. These masks are also able to support 3M Scott Fire and Safety's Epic 3 range of voice amplifiers and wireless Bluetooth radio comms devices. The supply hose can be PVC for general use or anti-static for potentially combustible atmospheres. Flight COV typically uses CEN fittings that connect by simply pushing the ends together. Other connector types are also available. The supply hose pressure should be between 5 and 11 bar. The compact demand valve then reduces airline pressure to just above atmospheric pressure for breathing. Flight COV features an automatic changeover valve. If the supply hose pressure drops to around 4 bar or less, the changeover valve automatically and instantly switches to the emergency escape cylinder without interrupting the breathing air supply. The whistle will sound to alert the worker they are now using emergency air and should evacuate immediately. Before donning the flight COV respirator, check the escape cylinder gauge to ensure it is full and the yellow tag to confirm the escape breathing air rating as either 10 or 15 minutes. Don the respirator by taking the shoulder pad in your right hand and passing the harness over your left shoulder and head. Grab the waist belt from behind and connect the buckles. Tighten the waist belt. Next, strap the escape cylinder around your left leg and adjust to prevent the cylinder moving around. Prior to entering the confined space or IDLH atmosphere, connect the main air supply hose. Then rotate the escape cylinder handwheel anti-clockwise to open the valve. The handwheel ratchet prevents accidental closure. To reduce the risk of snagging during escape, the main air supply hose can be disconnected. Remember to push the connectors together, then pull back the locking collar to release the connection. A non-return valve prevents air escaping. Next, connect the demand valve by pushing the circular demand valve connector into the opening on the face mask with the hose pointing away from the face mask. Once fully inserted, rotate the demand valve downwards 90 degrees. The demand valve latch should click, confirming a secure connection, helping to prevent accidental dislodging of the demand valve. The demand valve includes a reset button. Once pressed, airflow is stopped until activated by breathing inside the face mask. There's also a bypass feature for use in the unlikely event the demand valve malfunctions. To don the mask, first take a deep breath and hold it. Grab the head harness by the upper straps and pull the mask up and over your head. Adjust the mask to locate the inner half mask over the mouth and nose. Then pull up and back on the harness straps to tighten the mask seal against the head, starting at the lower straps and working upward. Breathe out, then breathe in sharply to activate the demand valve then breathe normally. You are now ready to prepare for entry to the confined space or IDLH atmosphere.